All right, we're live. I think, hooray. All right, first, first Twitch live stream in a long time. Let's bring this up. I don't know if this will work or if it's working properly. We shall see. Just going to do a little bit of Lego building. And chill out. If you are in the chat, do say hi. Uh, we'll read it out. Currently building the Destiny's Bounty, boop, which is this one here, in my Lego building studio, of all things. So yeah, I'm just gonna get stuck in and start building. Building, building. The late night chilled stream. <laughs> Been alive for a long, long time. Where's my archway? Where's this little archway? My little archway. I've got the chat up in front of me as well, so we should be able to see everything that's going on. So far we're up to this kind of thing, which is looking good. Oh my god, it's friggin' Snickers! Oh my god, as if, I know, I know, I know, I know, it's been a while. <laughs> oh. How you doing? How are things? <laughs> oh, it's been a while, right? Yeah, everything is good. Everything is very good. Thank you. Just, yeah, getting getting back into things just, yeah yeah I don't even I don't even know I don't even know what to say man it's been like forever but yeah I'm uh, I'm trying something out tonight I'm trying something out tonight so we'll see we'll see what happens we'll see if we can get anybody in Um, I'm just yeah trying to do a bit of YouTube at the minute, so I had to watch your brother's FIFA. Oh my god, I bet that was dull. FIFA's so dull. And to be fair, my brother wouldn't even have a clue either how I am because we we don't talk a lot. Not not out of anything bad. It's just we have different lives. Um. Yeah. But I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I'm just, yeah, life life takes over sometimes. 
life takes over. But yeah, how was how's everything in in your land? Oh my god, and Benny's here as well. It's just it's just like old days. I've never been away. Never been away. Good morning to you. Good morning to you all. If you are out there and you are joining us for the first time, it's lovely to have you back. Yeah, I'm I'm building the Lego Ninjago Destiny's Bounty. It's more of a junk ship than a pirate ship. But yeah, th that's basically what it looks like. Um, yeah, it's not not quite Planet Coaster, but yeah. <laughs> it is really cute. It is such a nice set. Um, but yeah, what can I say? Like, what can I... I don't even know what to say. It's been so long... Um, yeah, my I kind of made the executive decision um, when I was streaming Planet Coaster stuff that my computer wasn't good enough to do what I wanted to do, and I was fed up of the lag that I was having to deal with. And I kind of ran out of creative energy as well with it, and then my business took off, so I was just like mega mega busy with that. I'm still mega busy with that, but now with kind of the way the world is going i'm like hmm, i need to get an online presence back up and running again so yeah i'm kind of kind of doing bits and bobs like that it's all go 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 but what have you guys been up to i mean it's years since we we spoke i guess years And to anyone who is joining us that hasn't been to a you Bear stream before, of course, you are all massively welcome here. Do say hello in the chat. Everybody's super friendly. It's a place for everyone. Nothing's changed except for I'm now a little more older <laughs> and less planet coastery. <laughs> work, work. Yeah, I know that feeling. I know that feeling. But yeah, just uh Yeah, my my business took off and never really looked back. It was kind of like two, three, four, five I don't even know how many years since Planet Coaster launched. You know, we used to sit there playing Alpha. Alpha I I don't even know what version of Planet Coaster it is now. I don't even know what DLC is about. Are they still even making DLC? Is there Planet Coaster 2? <laughs> Do you guys even know? And of course, we need to have a moment because uh, last... If, if, if I think... If I believe what's true... Um, sorry, my brain has just had a fart. It's like midnight here and i've been on the go since seven o'clock this morning um ricky has passed away dj technoid i believe since the last time we were all gathered here and he was obviously a massive part of our streams he was always here so yeah sad sad times but hey he's free from all of the crap in the world it's free from all the tyranny and all the brainwashing and all the propaganda. So, yes, he's free from all of that. So, yeah, we couldn't not have another stream. We couldn't have a stream without without mentioning that first first little stream back. Um, so, yeah, crazy times, crazy world we live in. But hey, he's free of all that now. And yeah, I'm uh, Back for a little bit of streaming. Now I've worked out what I'm going to do with my life and my online presence of things. And yeah, there's just a lot going on. I'm saving up for 30 acres of land, 20 acres of land at the minute so I can build like my own self-sufficient 
theme parky magical woodland of creativity excitement for my business to live on so that's that's really exciting too there's so much going on so much going on and i can't believe you guys are back literally within like five minutes of of me logging on so thanks for thanks for jumping in thanks for jumping in but yeah tell me some stories you guys tell me some stories tell me some exciting things that you've been up to over the last few years it'll be six years six years since official launch in november they haven't done dlc since 2019 they're still pumping out content uh, for planet zoo oh well there we go i never really i ne never really got planet zoo um my friend was like oh i think you'll like it i think you'll like it it's it's really cool but my computer's just not it's not up to speed to deal with it and especially not to stream and to play and to record it's just it was just like <clears throat> dying and now it's super slow so um yeah and obviously if you are out there watching and you're wondering about all the other things that go along with twitch i literally have no idea anymore i don't know how it works um i don't know what the subscription stuff is or whatever it is or i've got no alerts for follows my email address isn't even linked to this twitch account anymore i don't even know i don't even know how i'm even streaming but i saw an option to go live um i was streaming live on my facebook page my business facebook page and it's quiet on a sunday evening so i thought you know what let's go visit let's go visit twitch let's see who's hanging out at twitch so yeah, what what do you guys like watching nowadays? Are you still watching Planet Coaster content, or are you um, watching other bits and bobs? And sorry for the fifty questions, and if I'm a bit scatting all over the place, I kind of didn't expect anybody to be here, so I'm really glad. Thank you. <laughs> it's like giving me a whole like adrenaline rush of oh my gosh, good times we had, good times were had indeed. And now my colour blindness can't work out what this colour is. Oh, an old man. Uh, are you dark red or are you brown? I think you're dark red. R2D2 Lego build stream last year. Nice! No, that's cool. Just good to see you about and hear you doing what you want to do. Yeah, man. Life life is good. Life is good because, yeah, my business, we really got, we really got hit in, uh, over the last two years, like, I lost nearly £25,000 because it was illegal for me to open, like, it's been mad but yep it all of that's gone away now so hopefully it will never come back in that sense and we shall be free i've learned a lot in my time i thought that we we were free people in our country but unfortunately not so yes i'm now on on the path to become self-sufficient and off the grid and away from society <laughs> i'm done with with with, uh, with the crazy craziness i want out oh my gosh how cute is this it's a little toilet roll and it goes next to the little toilet there's even a, there's a little dinky toilet on the bottom of the boat just here it's so cute. It's so cute. 
How did you find the R2-D2 build? Was it the Ultimate Collector's Series version? The latest one that they did? I can't remember what the set number is. It's quite a nice. The, the original was quite a nice uh, set to build, so I imagine the uh, new version, if it's that one, was, was great too. Unless you're talking about just a little dinky minifigure one. <laughs> Which is also cute too. Yeah, it was cute. I enjoyed it. Did it over two days. Nice. Yeah, it's a it's a nice set that one. Um, I like how they got the curvature of the head. Looks really sweet. Oh yeah, the lighting kits are really cool. I've got one. Um, I don't know if you know of the Lego set that's a uh, the fishing star, the old fishing star. I don't actually have the fishing star, but I have the lighting kit for some reason. Um, yeah, there's lots of lots of good lighting things. They're just really expensive, I find, if you buy the official kits. There's some fairly cheap um, alternatives, like a pound shop. Pound shop sell little lights. But yeah, I was looking, and, and they're really fiddly to put into some of them. I was looking at this and, and it was like, you got to hide the wires in here and build this in here and build that in there. I'm like, it looks more complicated than building the thing. So what's, uh, I don't know if you guys are, are regular users of Twitch, it makes it sound like some kind of drug addiction, but what what's new in Twitch land? What's, uh, what's going down? What are we allowed to do? What are we not allowed to do? <laughs> that's probably, that's probably a better question, right? Ooh. And uh, apologies to anybody that that has liked or followed or whatever it, it's called now. Um, I don't actually have a way of seeing, or at least I don't think I do. Um, unless I have like a dashboard. Is there a dashboard on this? Ah, view dashboard. What does that mean? No, that's that's not what. That's not how it works. Okay, okay, I can see. Activity feed. All right. Let's see. Not that that's really important, all the liking and following and all that jazz, because I've, I've no overlays that I can put on or anything like that, but we'll see. We'll show you new followers, subs, cheers, raids, and host activity. The snakes can probably tell you more. I only use, use it to watch the occasional stream. Oh, nice. Well, in that case, snakes, you're the man with the plan. Oh, look at this. It's like a full little bathroom. It's got like a little tap in it and a little toilet, a little toilet roll. It's cute. I'm such a softy for cute things like that. Uh, what we're we looking at colour wise is this dark brown or regular brown? That's regular brown. I 
need to make four of them. Oh, I love a good bit of repetition. I'm just going to tip these out. Sod it, they're getting tipped out. What's been my favourite favorite set I've built recently? That's a good question, actually. That is a good question. Um, what set have I enjoyed recently? I've actually just finished this carousel here. Uh, that was something I picked up from someone. Um, they were like getting rid of a whole load of stuff. And they said to me, oh, we've got this carousel. We don't think it's complete. It's yours. I got it for a good price. And yeah, it's really, it's missing like five pieces. It's missing a few more than five, but I'm slowly replacing them. I'll show you if you like. It's really cute. So it's got little animals on it. And when you, it's got a proper little crank handle as well. So you can turn this and it makes it spin. And all the animals go up and down. It's so cute. It's really cute. Yeah, it's cool. And then, oh, I just I just broke it. So that's that's a good start. Yeah, it's really lovely. I might get motor for it. Um, and then I've actually, I don't know if I can um, download this video after I've uploaded it. I'm guessing I can, uh, but. I like to, I'm going to do the Joker Manor. I don't know if you've seen that set from the Batman movie. It's like a Wayne Manor that's the Joker's stolen, taken over. And he's, there's a little roller coaster that goes around it. I've just broken all that down and it's in my drawers there. I'm just going to get the manual from my parents' house. Because I now have my own house. It's, I'm a grown-up, officially a grown-up. Um... That's kind of the reason why I haven't been streaming for so long as well, because the house, I moved out of my parents' house and into a rented house, and the internet connection was great, but the actual space to stream wasn't. I only had a front room, and a kitchen, and a bedroom, and my son had a room, um, and the, my computer, my gaming computer, it only has an ethernet connector. So I couldn't have it in any of the other rooms of the house. Well, I, I guess I could have, but it was fat. Um, and yeah, it just was never good to stream. My other half was always around and he's not a big fan of me sat talking to the TV whilst he sat unable to do anything. So it turned out that we were, we, we ended up not, and not streaming and as I say, with the business stuff, I work some weeks, 60 or 70 hours a week. So I'm always building Lego and always doing things. But, oh my gosh. Oh, thanks, Benny. Thanks. It has been a struggle. Um, what is going on here? Guy Chicago is here. Holy Moses. This is like, it's like a reunion. It's like an, a crazy reunion. Um, good evening to you, my friend. How are you doing? How is life? How is uh, the tyranny where you live? Um, yeah, how how is everything? How is how is everything? Um, welcome to this evening's stream. Is is all I can really say. Um, it's old school Planko reunion. Yeah, indeed. But with no Planko, because my computer's not fast enough to run it, really, anymore. <laughs> and I'm too poor to buy a gaming, a new gaming computer. Uh, I'm fine, thanks. You're looking great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I've managed to shift a lot of weight recently. Um, I've been spending more time in nature, eating healthily. I take nothing from the pharmaceutical industry anymore. I am a very healthy, well, young man. Uh, 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 I think. <laughs> um, yeah, life is life is very good, very good indeed. Um, it's it's 
it's all fun and games over here. And as I was just saying, I've just just bought a house with my partner. I mean, we've been together like stupid amounts of time. But yeah, yeah, all is good. All is good. And I don't live in the hood anymore, which is where I was living. I was uh, living in a place called Hare Hills, which is a very, very rough part of Leeds in North York, West Yorkshire, sorry, where my neighbour was a, um, a crack whore, a crack addict. Yes, I lived next to a crack house. There's, there's no nice way to put it, unfortunately. So the door was endlessly being knocked on and there was endless fights and endless just... Uh... So that was another reason I wasn't streaming either because they'd just be banging out loud music. It shows, oh, you're a charmer. You're a charmer. Um, yeah, so I'm just... Just, yeah, so glad to be free from... It was literally three years of of hell of hell but it was a lesson that i needed i needed to go effectively to the gutter and now i'm on my way to the top i don't know what the top is but oh, what it's the top of but i'm on my way i'm on my way i've got a path now that i'm working towards i've got goals yeah it's good I'm not lost anymore i'm found even though we've had some fairly tough times over the last few years i'm hoping that things are going to get better now and i'm on uh, i'm on a positive upset and this is this is yeah my, this is my uh this is my loft that i've converted so i've got an actual space that's not in the rest of the house so i don't have to go to work and do lego and then come home and see lego if i don't want to it's all locked away up in my loft so at the nights i want to do streams i can come up here yeah it's great um top peace of mind and happiness top peace yeah peace of mind and happiness yep 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 you're right you're right it is and happiness is not something that can be dictated either like happiness is totally uh, a thing of personal interpretation. Yes, I read a strange statistic the other day from China that their their population is so happy, and I was like, "But who defines what happy is? Because my happy and your happy are probably two very different things." So that was interesting. My boiler's just booted up, so if you can hear some strange sounds. And I never ask, sorry, I'm like, right now, but it's uh, it's just nice to be back chatting with you guys. It's been so long. And to anybody that's watching that, that doesn't really understand what's going on, just jump in the chat. Everybody is great here, and it's, yeah, it's like a proper old school Planko reunion. For those that don't know what Planko is... Planet Coaster. Planet Blooming Coaster. Uh, we all used to play, stream, gather together, have uh, have good times. Um, but yes, I'm rabbiting. Peace of mind. Yes. Yes, peace of mind. What is this topping? <laughs> Not in my vocab. <laughs> and look, everybody's getting together. Not in my vocab. I think... I'm sure topping should be in your vocabulary, right? Right, right. Um, da, 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 da. <sighs> and breathe. I just realised I'm sat with this boat just casually chilling on my leg. I'm just building some side panels at the minute. It's a bit repetitive, so I'm just going to smash through them. Oh. I should have dressed smarter if I knew you guys would be here. I could have put my nice clothes on instead of my slobby clothes. <laughs> so yeah, we're making, uh, I've got to make four of these little panel type things. But yeah, life is, life is good.
It's been making me nervous. It's balancing on the precipice. It's okay. I'm saying it's okay and I'll literally destroy it now. I've been sitting this whole time and not even thinking about it. And now it's sat here, it's, yeah, it's fine. It's Lego, it goes back together. That's what I tell all the kids that come to visit me as well. It's all right if you break it. Because the parents some, sometimes like, don't touch it, don't touch it. I'm like, touch it, touch the Lego. Because, hey, if I wanted you not to touch it, I'd lock it in glass cabinets. I mean, some things are locked in glass cabinets, but most of the stuff that I have is... Uh, is not is uh, free for free for all to come and touch. Yes, it is. It's my Lego uh, Lego carousel. I was just uh, saying to the guys actually when you joined, it's it's a set that I didn't actually go looking for. But I don't even know if you guys know what I do. Do you know what I do? It's uh, <laughs> it is glorious. Um, I've got another set over here as well, Ninjago set. I'll maybe get that out in a second. But, yeah, my business has evolved a lot probably since Planko days. I used to... Yes, I used to have a Lego shop, a Lego shop uh, with pre-loved Lego, and I'd take in big job lots and recondition it all, clean it, sterilise it, rebuild it, and then resell it. But business changed a few years ago and we moved locations uh, into a bigger location i went from having something that was 75 was it seven, 75 square foot to a thousand square foot um and basically what i learned was that the money wasn't in me sitting for hours and hours and hours rebuilding Lego sets, even though I'm still doing that right now, but now it's for online content rather than me sat by myself. Um, it's, yeah, I've got a full-on visitor attraction. We do birthday parties. I've got an escape room. I've got a chill-out building room. I've still got a shop. And yeah, I do school workshops. I do work in the community. I work with kids with learning difficulties. I literally, um, well, the kids call me Lego man. I'm not because of copyright issues. I'm the brick box man. Um, and yeah, we're, we're now in the process of taking all of that, what I've built, I've kind of come up with a perfect formula or a good formula for making business work. And yeah, I want to go off the grid with it and build a, a woodland retreat where things are, where the authorities can't find me should they impose craziness again. So yeah, let's let's have a cut of this beautiful. You have a shop, right? Yes. Or do you own Lego now? No, Lego are an evil corporation. Yeah, I don't want to ever have anything to do with them officially as such. And... Um, yeah, I only, I only buy used Lego now, completely used Lego. I don't buy anything new. I'm not into consumerism anymore. Um, but yeah, blimey. Uh, you there. Obs has a foot fetish. Why do I have a foot? What makes you think I have a foot fetish? Obs has a foot fetish. I don't, I don't mind feet, but I wouldn't have said I had a foot fetish. <laughs> and uh, if there is anybody in the chat that is not subscribed, do hit the subscribe. Oh, no. It's following here, isn't it? Follow, 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 follow. Or if you want to head over to our YouTube channel and subscribe to Brickbox TV, where very soon we're trying to hit 50 subscribers at the minute so I can go live build live. Because my online presence idea is that I want to be able to reach kids all over the world and do live builds, interactive builds where they sit. And instead of having to just stare at a screen, which I don't really like, um, at least they're doing something creative. We're going to do building challenges and set loads of fun and get a real community involved um, and, and go from there. But yeah, sounds fantastic. Thanks, Benny. Thank you. It's been a long time in the making and a lot of flipping hard work. 
And just when I perfected the formula, the world turned upside down. I was like, God damn. So yeah, two years of paying rent and not being able to open later and everything is good. Hey, we got a new subscriber on our YouTube channel. If it's one of you guys, thank you. I'm guessing it's you, Benny, because the name was Ben. But who knows? <laughs> oh, cops. Uh, 75 square foot to 1,000 square foot. Chat delay comedy lost. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I just don't have a sense of humour. No, I do have a sense of humour. I do. I'm just a bit slow. My other half would say, I'm special. But hey, that's, that, they're his words, not mine. But we're all special in our own way, right? I need one more of these little one by two bits. One more. And I said tonight would be a chill stream and I feel like I've been drinking Coca-Cola all night. I just suddenly had such a buzz. Like, shoop. Penny drop. <laughs> Cash you can't go, it's now unfunny. No, not at all. I'm just not there anymore. <laughs> oh, my brain is tired. But, oh, I love it. I can't complain. I can't complain. Because without the madness that lives in my head, I'd just be an Amazon slave. All right, time to get the side panels on this boat. So we've now got four of these bad guys. So yes, we're gonna we're gonna do some. Um, yes, this is the right way, and this is gonna seal the first deck of our boat in. So what have you guys been up to over the last few years? Have you been able to keep doing your work? Have you changed careers? Are you taking over the world? Are you boating to fun places? So yes, now we've got the side panels on. It's looking good. Um, where shall I stick this? Actually, I shouldn't, probably shouldn't have an ask that question. Not with you guys in the chat. <laughs> Right, let me put these bits back in here because I need to do some leg stretching. Because unfortunately, my old body doesn't appreciate being sat on the floor like a five-year-old. Okay, and stretching time. Oh, God. Oh, God. My poor knees. And a quick hitch as well because, you know, you can't beat a quick hitch. is still building the same plank or plank that began in 2016. Hooray! <laughs> Do you know what? I still tell people, you know, my son has, has started playing Planet Coaster. He plays it on his gaming computer. And I was like, you know what? You know what? There's a guy that used to come in my stream. The guy. Guy Chicago. And his name, he's on the plinth at the start on one of the paving things. He's like, Nah, you don't know who that is. I'm like, I flipping well do. It's my claim to fame with my son. He thinks it's pretty awesome that I semi, semi know you. Semi know you. Not with the semi, but semi know you. You know, you know what I say. Um, we now have a doggo. Oh, oh, cute. Oh my goodness me. A dog. What kind of dog do you have? Have you actually placed anything in that park in the past three years? You know what? I'm sure I was watching a stream with you, Guy, and you were fast asleep. I'm sure there was snoring in the background at one point. Maybe I'm making that up in my head, but I'm sure that that happened once. Or was it somebody else I was watching? No, I'm pretty sure it was that. A, sp a spoodle? 
That sounds like some kind of sushi dish. A spoodle, okay. That's a spoon crossed with a poodle. No, it's gonna be a spaniel crossed with a poodle. Maybe spaniel crossed with a poodle. Yes, look at that, my dog knowledge was good. Um, I have been tempted for a dog too, but my other half keeps saying a cocker, yeah, a cocker spaniel. <laughs> hey. Pics? Can you send pics in, disc in this chat? Is that a thing that, that, that you can do now? Was it a thing you could always do? I just never remember. I'm conscious I'm exposing myself. <laughs> it's probably not a good idea. Um, yeah. Oh. Picks. Just borrows the pup down the hallway. <laughs> I'm off to find the dog. Yeah, we've been we were thinking about a dog, but until I've got some land, then I'll then I'll have a dog. But until then, I just I'm just too busy. I need it. I need it to be able to ooh, breaking the ship. I need it to just be able to run around and be wild and crazy whilst I'm out and about because I'm not sure I could take. I I could have a brick box dog. That'd be awesome. And I've got loads of customers that would love that. But, yeah, my sister's just got a dog, and she's not had a dog before. Well, neither of us have had dogs before, but her partner has. But I think it's I think it's a bigger commitment than she thought it would be, and far more tying than she thought it would be. Um, she, yeah, and, and stressful, too. It's, it's caused her a lot of anxiety, this dog. It's, it's good. I'm glad she's got a dog. I'm glad she's got a dog because I think it'll, it'll do a wonders. Once the dog settles down, because it's a puppy at the minute, once it's settled down, I think it'll be a, a really good thing for it. But yeah, I kind of want, um, I kind of want a Rottweiler, but it's such a big dog. I need, need more space. I mean, I've, I've actually got a garden now. An actual garden so that's cool but yeah it's not it's not big enough for a dog not a dog that size but yeah once I've got some land maybe although my other half keeps saying children but he doesn't realize how stressful children are I'm like no don't do it don't convince me and the fact that they're not children forever, they turn into adults. Which is what mine is doing at the moment. He will be 15 in September, which is just insane. Like, where the hell has that time gone? Where did my little boy go? Yes. It's, uh, yeah, it's stressful. Aha! Puppy Hugo. Let's have a look. Uh, no, I do not want cookie. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that is cute. Oh my goodness me. That is like next, next level cute. I want to snuffle it. I want to have it snuffle me. Ah, I've now got puppy envy. I have serious puppy envy. Yes. That is... Oh, so cute. Too cute. It's too cute. And who's in charge of walking? Or, or is it team effort? Team effort. Why does 
this going? Oh, I see. We flip the boat around. Yeah, it is a... <laughs> it is a beautiful colour. Yeah, you Americans losing your U's. Oh, shame on you. Benny's the primary walker. Nice. And how are you finding your life with, with a doggo? Oh, my boiler's decided to boot itself back up again. Good times, boiler, good times. Uh, uh, uh. Not quite sure why those bits went in there, but sure, why not? Okay, so we've just fitted like a little armory panel in, which is cute, in there, like a little armory wall for the ninjas. We have created a monster. Oh dear. My friend has created a monster with her dashund. And yes, the dashund, for starters, every time you greet it, it wheezes on the floor. So it's an absolute nightmare going over to see them. Because... Doggo just gets so um, excited and then Doggo doesn't know, do, doesn't like to be left alone so every time they go it's crying, it's crying but I mean it's a gorgeous dogs, they're gorgeous dogs, um, so friendly, so kind, they just want to be I want to be friends with you. I want to be friends with you. Which I obviously don't dislike at all. I love it. But yes. It is soft. Soft as butter. It's adorable though. Working from home since we had him. So can't be left alone. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a common fault. Not a common fault. But a common thing now. For people. I was speaking to somebody the other day. Someone who came into my shop. And they, they asked me if they could bring their dog in. Because he doesn't like to be left alone. It gets lonely and sad. And I'm like no. I can't have sad doggies. But at the same time my harshness is like. The dog must man up. <laughs> oh. it's, yeah. I think it's been a. A bit of a case. So will you. Are you permanently working from home? Or is it just kind of a thing? Just kind of a phase still for a little while whilst the craziness goes away? Are you are you locked and locked in home forever? Are you still locked in your home forever? Are you still imprisoned? Oh, it's been a wild few years. Damn, I love that piece of my phone. Or is it here, actually? It might actually be here. Did I bring it here? No. I've just come across a piece that I definitely have, but it's at my shop. I can blend now. Ooh, that's some good terminology. Some blending. Blending. It's very nice. It's a very trendy word. I'd be like straight out of home, like I'm never working from home again. Although some people I've spoken to are really upset about having to go back to the office. I was like, no, no. Office is for work time, home is for home time. No, to mix, no, hang on, let's get this right. To blend the two. I don't think that's a good, a good thing, but I guess it's whatever floats your boat, really. I need to have kind of clear divides in my spaces at, between work and home, otherwise all I do is work. And it's it's uh, it's silly of me, but yeah, if I've got work in front of me, I'm like, must work now. So we've just built another little armour thing. I'm not doing a lot of showing, but we're doing a lot of talking, telling, and catching up. I actually like it, I spend less dollar. Yeah, I, I can understand that, I can understand that. 
not having to buy lunch every day or commute is is handy. Oh, I'm building a bed. A bed is next. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, I understand that division. Find myself working more because I can't. Yeah, yeah. It's like you can't switch off, and you think, oh, oh, I'll just do a little bit of this, and then before you know it, it's been an hour, and yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's not. It's not good. It's not good. But yeah, pros and cons for everything, I guess. Now where did I put that funny colour? It's in here. Now what colour is that? I was tempted to start streaming again when all the, the chaos came, but it, it was such a, I don't know, for us, I don't know what you guys believe or what you've read or what you've, what your countries did, but I had, I had to fight against that, that shit, right? <laughs> Excuse my French. There's, uh, my other half's a pharmacist, so we were like reading all the papers that were coming out of the top universities. And it was like, why are we doing all this stuff? It makes zero sense. <laughs> but hey, that's just what we were up to. But our police here don't like that. <laughs> they don't like you saying, mm, I don't agree with you. And it was very eye-opening that we, what I thought we lived in a country that was tolerant of different opinions apparently is not so tolerant so yeah it's been a bit been a bit of a crazy few years for us and of course whilst you're doing all that stuff it's just yeah the energy to do other things like streaming and 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 yeah just it's it was wild so it's been crazy but i've made some great great new friends and great networking and if if madness ever comes back then yeah a whole network of people that i didn't even know existed and yeah i feel like i didn't leave my what you didn't leave your house for a year and a half what you see to me that's crazy how can you not leave your house like it's important to go outside <laughs> i need sunshine <laughs> I need sunshine and lollipops and rainbows. Yeah, it's, it, it was really peculiar. So yeah, I feel like I'm now... <laughs> Show me the Uber Eats bill. <laughs> uh, yeah. We... Uh, cook a lot of our own food, you know really get any takeaways I'm, I'm a good egg we're good eggs now good eggs so yeah we were whilst everybody else in in this country was hiding away i was out climbing mountains and, and enjoying fun things and actually getting on with life because you only get one of them oh, and it was it was funny funny things funny times Strange, strange things, but it's certainly been eye-opening. It's been eye-opening. But I feel like, honestly, that I've, I'm part of some kind of Star Wars-esque rebel alliance that was... It was weird at one point, really flipping weird. I felt like I was living in some dystopian nightmare. One, two, three, four, five, and everybody around me was just compliant i'm like hello hello question things question things <laughs> don't just take everything <sighs> two three four five six seven but yeah it's uh it's been fun it's been fun but now now things are calmer I can uh, get back to relatively normal things
yeah, it looks like we're expanding the boat now, putting the second level in. So I'm glad for that. Although that means I'm go it's going to be a bit of a hand fill. Exaggerating a bit, but I was happy to stay away from work. I can appreciate that. It was, to be honest, I hadn't stopped really for... Well, obviously I was streaming a little bit and then the business went whoop, super busy. And I didn't stop working for years and years and years and years and years. And as soon as I stopped, I was like, oh, I didn't realize how burnt out I was. I was very, very burnt out. I was really, really a bit broken. But of course, when you're working all the time, you kind of don't realize it because you just, you just deal with it. Uh, no Uber Eats, mostly un uncork it, Grubhub and DoorDash. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sounds like inappropriate services. Grubhub and DoorDash. I'm guessing that's like your versions of uh, of yeah Uber Eats and we have Just Eat here. I don't know if you guys have Just Eat. But yeah, I don't order from any of those places. It's usually just crap food. I'm very much into looking after my body now. I can relate. Work was a healthy and unhealthy distraction. Yeah, for sure. For sure. It's... Uh, You're off to London on Friday. Oh, lovely. I'd love to get on an aeroplane and travel, but I'm banned from nearly every country in the world at the moment, so... I think I can go to Norway or Ireland. So I'm not going to bother going to either. I'm not allowed to go and see my beautiful nephews who live in St. Louis either, and my brother. Oh, it's all a mess, but... Hopefully soon all of that will undo itself. And if it doesn't, then I need to get back out there and protest that shite. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Hopefully creepy, creepy Joe will sort that out. But it's unlikely. Might have to wait for the next president to step in and undo that. No, I haven't been to, you'll be, it's funny, you'll be going to London before I've been to London since all the, the craziness started. Um, I haven't been. I'd like to go back to London. It's just, again, everything's bloody expensive here at the minute. The cost of living is like, whoa. So, and, and obviously I'm saving for land too. So we're trying to keep all, all, uh, additional expenditures down to a minimum so it's uh, just putting money away trying to save 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 so we can take the business off the grid and also then i'm going to become a i've been training to be a self-sufficient farmer through permaculture and no dig stuff um so yeah it's it's really cool I've been totally retraining and I speak to some of my customers and they're like, oh, you know, how's things? I'm like, yep, yep, yep. I'm going to be a farmer. I'm like, what? What? <laughs> I'm going to be a farmer. I'm like, but you're a Lego man. I'm like, no, I'm a farmer now. Farmer, you bear. It's kind of one of those revelation moments that if the, if the government has the power to take my ability away to earn money on whatever they deem is acceptable, regardless of my opinion, um, then I need to be able to feed myself because nobody else is going to feed me. Um, so yeah, it's uh, just, just sorting things out. Sorting things out. Making sure that I never have to worry about that or be anxious that that if something crazy happens again, 
I'll be able to still feed my family and I'm in the process of converting my fireplace to a log burner and a back boiler so I can always have heating and um, yeah I want to switch over to self-sufficient energy I'm currently thinking of do <laughs> this crazy things crazy things don't don't think I'm too nuts I, I am just regular you bear but um, one of the things I've been looking at doing is building contraptions out of Lego that can go into your drain pipes because one of the arguments I have in this country is we are we are a very moist country we <laughs> too late <laughs> um, we're a very moist country we get so much rainfall yet we don't do anything with the force of the rain you know we literally have rain for days yet we don't do anything with it so I've been kind of thinking of a device that I could create build out of Lego because I'm all for building out of stuff that already exists on earth and if we can create some turbines that we'd stick in um, in the edge of like a drain pipe that spin every time it rains and generate electricity from it that charges even if it's just a small battery um, or, or something that can hold store the energy or an area that that holds the water that, that you can then release that water down a, a, a down pipe or something that again it, it, it generates electricity because we have all this stuff we could do but we don't do it I think there's lots of secrets hidden in the world that we just don't know about or we don't talk about or probably not allowed to some things um, but there's got to be other ways of doing things and I'm all for thinking outside the box and yeah so I'm, I'm working on lots of peculiar things at the moment too late but you sound very focused which is all that matters yeah I feel that where I'm going in life now whereas before I was just kind of hooked into must have money must have money I realized that actually I worked my ass off for years and years built my business built money saved money and then it was all taken away in the drop of a hat literally overnight all taken away and yeah it wasn't important it wasn't that important so yeah it's been a very very awakening time I don't even know if that's the right word I, I don't know I just just yeah something different something is something has changed within me something is not the same <laughs> I'm literally through with playing by the rules of someone else's game um, nobody likes the box I think all of us can relate to that yeah yeah and i find a lot of people that don't like things they'll moan about the box but they don't actually do anything about the box i'm a victim of the box no no i will not be a victim of the box i'm not going to stand there and be oh woe is me woe is society no i'm out there trying to change it and doesn't look right. Have I done something wrong here? Mm, no, I haven't. I'm all for, um, yeah, my friend was like, if you can't beat the system, create a new system that makes the old one obsolete. So that's where I'm heading right now. Show tunes. Yes, you can't beat a good show tune. Did the video freeze frame? Ooh, we're we having some stream issues. I hope not. I hope not. Na, 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 na. So we're building the front of the boat at the moment. Front boat. And if there's anybody that's lurking out there that does want to say hi, do drop into the chat and say hello. We're all very friendly people. Peoples. People. Um, 
yeah, do say hello. And if you don't want to say hello, cool. You can always head over to YouTube and subscribe to our brand new channel, Brickbox TV, uh, where you'll be able to watch some of our previous episodes. And eventually we'll be doing some live streams through there as well. Hello, lurky people. And don't run away if you're lurking. You can sit and lurk all you like. No judgment here. This is a, a judgment-free zone. Judgment-free zone. Although you do just have to put up with my ramblings. Oh God, it's one in the morning. It's one in the morning and I'm streaming, you guys. What's going on? I was like, oh, I'll, I'll just jump on for 10 minutes. An hour later, two hours late. I can't, I can't not go away. This is, it's like the old days, but it's new. I'm just missing, do you know what we're missing? We're missing, um, some Disney firework music and parade music. That's what we're missing. <laughs> but now I become very detached from Disney in all of this. Everything old is new again, yes. So we've got the, the front bit to our bow. I think we're gonna put some like panels in here now to make make it look more fluid. So if the, you guys are working at home, does that mean that you can kind of have a stream on in the background whilst you've got um, work going on? Or is it kind of, they're tracking your computers type scenario and they can see everything that they're doing or, yeah. You know what, I'm, you, I, think I'm, I think you'll know what I mean. Has it made it a bit more cash? And Guy, I never asked, what are you doing in London? Are you are you working? Are you there for leisure? Are you there to ride roller coasters? Are you there to meet gentlemen callers? <laughs> working. It's got to be done. I can, but I'm utterly, you, uh, utterly. You can tell it's like usually too busy. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Being busy, I guess, is a good thing. Keeps you out of trouble. some singing i tell you what one thing that i sorry i'm just like Arr! um one thing that i did enjoy doing through all of the craziness was i know a a, a minister in a chapel and we had some bonkers restrictions where the you the choir couldn't sing there was no singing but the women in the choir were mostly old ladies and they weren't having any of that so it's it's really funny uh, the minister were messaged sent out like a, a group message to all the men in the that he knew and said look we have these old ladies and they won't they won't not sing they want to sing um so we need and they want to go and practice so will will any men go for their exercise and go and sing go and protect these old ladies from getting beaten up from the from the police and i was like what has it come to this that i need to go and defend little old ladies having a sing song in the woods so we banded together and these lovely little old ladies we'd escort them into the woods on a friday evening and they'd sing in beautiful four-part harmonies. It was, oh, absolutely, absolutely. And then it ended up that it was men that were literally there for protection <laughs> were singing with them. And, oh, it was just, 
it was incredible. People would people would be stood. They they would hear us singing and, and uh, we were in the city, so there were lots of people around. And there would be people just stood and they would just stand and cry because they hadn't heard live music for so long, and it was really moving. And um, yeah, thankfully we never came head to head with the police, but yeah, it was funny times, funny times. But it was just so hilarious that these women were like, no. I'm not being locked away to die. Like, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out in this. We're gonna sing. No one shuts us up. And yeah, they were they were singing and uh, and brave brave ladies, brave ladies. And uh, yeah, it was just really really cool. But yeah, I've ended up becoming part of part of like a a rebel choir. Um. <laughs> Life is random. Life throws random stuff at you sometimes. And you think, no, oh, it must must happen for a reason. And uh, a few weeks ago, I sang in a, in a monastery. Um, we actually went there whilst all the madness was happening too, to sing. And the, the lady who, who is the custodian of the monastery was like, hmm. I think you're the next guardian of my monastery. I was like, what? For starters, I'm not a religious person. I'm not really into all that kind of stuff. Um, and she, But she was like, no, no, I, I, I can feel the goodness in your heart. <laughs> I'm not going to live for it. This is like some mid 60 year old woman. And yeah, she's telling me that, that she wants to organize potentially me becoming a custodian of a of a monastery that we have here in this country i'm just like what <laughs> where is my life taking me i'm just a lego man <laughs> but no crazy things crazy times like i'm slowly starting to believe that everything really does happen for a reason and yeah it's just my life's a bit of a whirlwind at times, you know. So I'm sat on the floor right now. Tomorrow I'm the proud owner of an ancient monastery. Just nuts. Nuts things. Yeah. <laughs> but hey. Who knows what's around the corner? Who knows who you're going to meet? Checking batteries on everything. We're all okay. We're all okay. <laughs> yeah, I will do. You know what? Next next time I'm streaming, I'm not going to be sat here in my loft. That's it. I'm going to be sat in a giant frigging cathedral, uh, monastery. <sighs> I don't even know. Like, I don't don't even understand where. Dare I even say it, the universe is taking me? Oh, don't tell me I'm missing one of those, please. Oh, no, it's here. I was missing one of these, but it wasn't. It was wrong side up. But yeah, it's. Uh, I was, in my insanity, I was about to ask what day it was for you guys. Ah, uh, I tell you, sometimes. Uh, I can tell it's been a long day. Of course it's Monday. It's Monday for me too. <laughs> it can only be Monday. Oh, I guess it maybe could still be Sunday. I guess it's still Sunday for my brother. But yeah, Monday. Monday, Monday. That's a really snug fit in there. I almost feel like I've built that wrong. That's, it's not sitting right. It's not sitting right. It's not sitting right with me. It's not sitting right with this. What have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? Let's go back. We're going back. Oh, I have done it wrong. I've done it wrong. There was me like, I'm a master builder. Done it wrong. Right. 
let's move everything along then. Monday, Sunday here. Time is a crazy concept. Yes, a concept of man. To enslave him. I don't know, maybe. My other half is a firm believer that time is, yeah. Don't be a slave to time. But unfortunately, when you're self-employed, time, you, every inch is, is, money is time, time is money. If you can do something quicker, that means you've got time to do something else. So yes, we're all... It's a good job we're complete opposites of the spectrum. I'm like, time is running out! Time is running out! And he's like, oh, I've got all day. Like today he slept until 2pm. Like, I haven't slept until 2pm for... Oh my god. I can't even think of it. I can't even think. I, I don't think I have for years. I, I just can't sleep like that. The second, the second my eyes are open, my brain is operational. It's like, ooh, how are we going to change the world today? <laughs> how? How can we do this? Is it still not? Oh, I'm trying to put it the wrong way. Like, why is it not working? It helps if you put it in the right way. All right, and now, now we have the front of our boat. Very nice. Now we can hopefully slot that on. Yes, it's going on the front of the boat. Lovely, lovely, lovely. A little junk ship. All right. Ooh, time to build an assembly. So we'll pop our boaty bit down here. And it's time for a bit of leg stretching. Stretch with me two days gone by. There we go. That was our musical interlude. To the la oh, we nearly we nearly got a little bit more out of it, but I didn't know where to go. I'm sorry, I've got a really itchy leg. Oh, that feels bad. Oh. away no itching allowed stretching out you guys as well should be stretching too do you do your stretches <laughs> snicks and i are popping out for brunch great to see you hopefully not five plus years before our next one yeah you guys have a great day it was great to chat lovely have a fab one and yeah hopefully there'll be more of this um We'll be streaming more stuff through YouTube, Brickbox stuff, I would have thought. But yeah, thanks for stopping by. Keep smiling and don't comply. No compliance. <laughs> Alright, time for our next segment. And then it might be bedtime. We'll see. We'll see how we get on. We shall see. <laughs> so, how long are you in uh, London for, Gar? Are you are you uh, there for a while, or just a just a, a flying visit? Flying. <laughs> I've forgotten what the inside of an aeroplane looks like. Just the weekend. God, it's a long way to come just for the weekend. Do you have to be in meetings all weekend as well, or are you going to get some, some free time? Oh, 
It's mostly free time. Cool. Have you got any plans of anything you want to see? Or do? Or visit? Sorry, 20 questions. So I think we're currently building the back section of the boat. It's going to slot in. Um, no plans. Fair enough. Keeping a nice open schedule. Oh, come on. There's got to be a, one of my forward sticky out bits. There it is. I'm not even sure what I'd do if I went to London at the minute. even sure there's just so you know when there's just so much to see and do it almost becomes overwhelming I want to do everything there's um there is something I'd like to do in London I, I think it's still on they have a war of the worlds experience I'm a big fan of war of the worlds um it's like a VR interactive actor led journey through the music and um Yeah, and yes, we are free from the muzzles in this country. I friggin' hate them. I will not put one upon my face. Bah! Stupid science. There is no science that shows it. But yes, it's a much better experience without one. There's no way that I could sit for three hours in one of those. But thankfully, we have this thing in this country where all you have to do is say, I'm exempt. You don't have to wear one. That's it. That's it. So I don't even own one. Never have, never will. But obviously, if other people want to wear one, that's fine. You go ahead. You go ahead. We are a democracy in this country. We are a free country. And it should be personal choice to do whatever you like. As long, of course, as you're physically not stabbing people. <laughs> That's not a good thing to do. But yeah, I don't even know what's on the West End at the moment. I don't even know. I'm guessing all the usuals are still on, like Lion King and uh, Wicked and Hamilton and all those things. Democracies aren't really a good thing. Once you get enough stupid people in agreement, then we get crazy laws. This is also true too. Um, and it would it is very apparent that our democracies are very corrupt at the moment too. I've been following a, a bit of what's been going on in America as well and wow we like I didn't realize how bad the lobbying situation is America in America in America especially the pharmaceutical industry like why is nobody protesting over there about how crazy it is like like it's conflict of interest beyond recognition surely right it, it's it's insanity. You ca you can't you can't have companies invested in politics. That's not how it works. Like your whole, I mean, ours is bad too. I was reading the other day that a, a new somebody was new in the Houses of Parliament, and they were sent a welcome basket worth twenty thousand pounds from a pharmaceutical company. I'm like, what the frig was in the basket? What? It, it's, 
it's just like that's not that's not good that's when that's how democracy falls apart that's how you end up with tyranny right they've made enough people fat and lazy comfortable enough to not lose their place mm -hmm. yes all oh, very backwards so i am yeah ready to get out the system it's it's too too broken i'm probably not allowed to discuss it do what do i have freedom of speech on this platform <laughs> Or am I going to get, like, flagged? You've spoken out of turn. Shame on you. Because, <laughs> oh, yeah, we got, I, got, I got shadow banned on Facebook on my business page for basically saying don't listen to the BBC, which is our... I don't know if you know about our BBC, but, yeah, it's our... the British broadcasting thing, but... I don't think AI is listening to us yet. Okay, that's good. I'm guessing it, it does, though. I know that there's certain word patterns that these things pick up. and ugh. Crazy times we're living in. Crazy times. But, yeah, it's been very eye-opening the last, uh, last few years. But Twitch has cracked down on my 80s music. <laughs> Bad times, bad times. Shame on you, Twitch, for for cracking down on the eighties music. You can't beat a, a you can't beat an eighties tune. It's all I ever listened to as well. I love a good bit of eighties music. In fact, my uh, we just um, we've just been getting back into Duran Duran at the minute. They've got loads of good stuff. <laughs> He's not able to build with that 80s music. Yeah, I have uh, I would have music on too, but I wasn't sure on what the restrictions are on Twitch for music. If, if you're allowed to play with music, or if you're not allowed to stream with music, or if you get copyright flagged and all that stuff. So, I've... Um, yeah, we've not got anything on at the minute, but... Just wasn't sure. So I thought better be safe than sorry and not put anything on. Because the last thing you want to do is get a good stream going and then uh, yeah I had it with Facebook when I was building the oh look we're putting the back of the boat on. When I was building a Disney castle, Lego Disney castle um, I had some Disney music on in the background and yeah that got flagged and my stream was, was had loads of viewers but no, they stopped that straight away, and I got a copyright warning. The way I understand it is you just can't save your videos as, as VODs. Right, so you can live stream and play music, but you can't then save the videos. That's not great for me, because what I want to do is turn them into YouTube, you, YouTube content. It's just so complicated nowadays, isn't it? You don't, you don't know what you can do, what you can't do, and the community standards change every five minutes. So it's, uh, it's a tricky one. Oh, this is starting to come together now. It's looking like a bit of a boat at last. Which reminds me as well, if you're not following us yet, drop us a follow. And if you are following us and you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, head over to Brickbox TV and hit that subscribe button because it really helps us out. And also give our stream a little like. That helps us too. I think that's something you can do. I'm guessing it's something you can do that helps us reach more folk. As I say, I'm still, still learning, still learning. I was obviously a bit of a, 
I knew what was going on with Twitch before, but now it's like, mm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, right, where am I going? I'm putting my vote down. Vote's going down. Um, right. Did I just miss a bag? Did we start a new bag? No. Yes. No. No. No, we haven't started a new bag. Okay, I'm going to build to the end of this bag, I think. And then I should probably think about going to bed. Because tomorrow is my only day off this week. And if I mess everything up then and go to bed too late, not that I can sleep late, this is the problem. I will be up still at probably half past seven. I'm wide awake. Bing! Rain in gear, ready to roll. That's just my curse. Ooh, yawn, yawn. Okay. So I'm not sure what we're building at the minute. It looks like a, a tea bench. Whatever a tea bench is. And now I'm going to spend, when I finish this stream, I'm going to spend the stream working out how I can download this video and upload it onto YouTube. And of course I don't have a computer. Well, I do, but I don't. So it's going to have to be like, oh, how can I do it through my mobile? So that'll be a whole thing. It's always fun and games. And then I'm sure there'll be something that tells me I need some software to do it, even though you don't need software to do it, or you might need software to do it, or who knows? Who knows? Feels good though to be back having a little stream on on Twitch. I'm not sure my feet, my stream is listed in the right place though. I wasn't really sure where to put it. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's like a section for toys or games or. Let's see what's in there. Is there is there one for Lego? There is for games, but not. Oh, and there was a note, oh, no changes were, oh my god, I don't understand. Yeah, I can't, I can't seem to find a Lego category, unfortunately. It's a bit odd. I thought there might be, you know, because it's a, well, maybe, maybe people don't want to watch Lego building. I just wondered really where I could, where I could put it, where people might find it. Because there's plenty of Lego video game stuff, but obviously I'm not really playing a video game. But maybe that might be the sneaky way to put it, put it in a Lego video game section. Can you even do that? Does Twitch allow you to do that? Because there is a new Star Wars game that just came out, actually. Should we see? Should we see if we can do that? Just, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Let's see if it's all... What is this, sorry? 
All content must adhere to and be categorised according to our guidelines. There's that term again. What's their guidelines? Ugh. Oh, tags are visible by others. Okay, so if... Oh, add tags. Oh, LGBTQIA. What does that mean? Chatty. AMA. -A -M -A. Don't know what that means either. ADHD. African American. Oh my god. What? Why is that a tag? Why are these tags? Why is bisexual a tag? What? I really. Okay. Tran. Tran. What? Let's play Latino Hispanic. That's not a tag to be found by. I don't understand. I'm afraid of these tags. I'm going away from them. No. I think Twitch, it sounds like Pornhub. What? I don't, what? I, uh, oh dear. Twitch, you're being a bit New World Order-like for me. You need to sort that out. That's not how... That's not how you look for... What? Is that really how people search Twitch? I'm, it's baffling. It's absolutely baffling. Let's, let's tick some boxes and let's see what happens. I wonder what happens if we go into this box. Just chatting. Um, tags, add tags. Let's do this tag, this tag. I don't know what AMA is. Oh, oh, there's a question mark. For streams with an emphasis on the answering of viewer questions. Oh, yeah, you can ask me anything. That's okay. Chatty, what's that? The streams and content featuring a chatty mood or vibe. Yeah, that'll do. A VTuber. No, I don't use that. 100%. For streams with emphasis on complete oh ADHD for streams and content featuring the attention deficit hyperactivity disorder community well how do I know what that is well obviously I can't what this just seems like putting your stream in boxes an arena stream for streams that feature the arena gameplay oh. This is really, like, bizarre. A stream for depression. Focused on depression. Surely you want to be focused on removing depression. Well, come and join with us and not be depressed. We don't like depressing things. Featuring the English community. Is it family friendly? Oh yeah, we can have family friendly. I literally... Furry. The furry community. The German... Co this is next level. This is like the she-her community. What? The role play? The retro? Solos. What's a virtual ASMR? What's ASMR? For streams with an emphasis on... on Triggering of a tingling or static. What? What? This really is like next, next level. Keep getting recommended to watch bikini tryons and boobs flashing everywhere. <laughs> what the heck is this, Twitch? What are you doing? Okay, we're, we're going to do a bag more. I'm going to do a bag more. It's we finish that bag so we'll do one more bag and then we'll call it a night and we'll see if these tags help us get a few more viewers and help us get some engagement in the chat um we'll find we'll find us some friends for tonight guy and if you are watching in the chat and you do want to drop a drop a little hello do say hello to us we're super chatty super non-judgmental we're very friendly although i am judging twitch right now like what? I don't understand. 
We must put everything in boxes. Tired eyes. 10, 11, 12. Lovely. And we need eight side things. Side hustles. I'm just floating my boat in the air at the minute. Covering my face. Arr, boat protection. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come on, one more, you can do it. Reveal yourself to me. Oh, maybe. Or maybe not. Eight. It was sat by my foot. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna put in this, some more side panels of the ship. I really can't get over the... It just shows you how bizarre the algorithms are if it's trying to suggest bikini try-ons but I guess the other question would be what the hell have you searched for for that to be in your algorithms because the, the these things these AI things they're clever but they're dumb I know that's like a crazy thing to say but yeah they Mind you, nowadays you only have to think of things and suddenly they appear in your Facebook feed, so. It's uh, pretty crazy times. Ooh, our boat is getting wider. This is such a cool boat. I like boats. I like this boat too. Sea cow. Sea cow. Moo. And we need eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Typical found seven need eight. Yeah. mentioned the pool opening in a month or so so I guess that counts <laughs> oh god if that's mind you that's probably all it requires what's that you're curious about the pool opening we'll market you bikinis you'll definitely need one of those I'm sure you'd look glorious in a bikini guy <laughs> That's crazy, though. It's crazy. You're crazy. Ooh, time for building more boat bits. I'm not sure where that boat bit's going to live, but... Okay, all right. Let's pop this down. <laughs> hey, maybe that should be my channel. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you could do bikini triumph. That's a unique selling point, and and with the state of America at the moment, that's I'm sure that's uh, something that would go down great. Just bikini stuff. Guy sat there putting on his new bikini. Oh yeah, feeling glamorous. Even though you're not the target market of a bikini. 
It's like go home algorithms, you're drunk. Do 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 do. Hmm? Hmm, 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 hmm. do you uh, do you stream anymore, guy? Do you, do you, do you stream, or have you kind of stopped? Are you just a a passive watcher? There's probably a term for that, right? Started again. Oh, good stuff. What what is it that you're streaming? You stream Flight Coaster, or do you play other things? And this was the other thing I found with Twitch. Like you, you kind of had to go and be involved in a whole community of stuff, and go and watch other people stream. And I just don't don't have the time. Like, Twitch is kind of like it's got to be part of a, a job situation or be doing something that's uh, part of my problem but it was so nice to be part of a com yeah it was so nice to be a part of a community but it's just so it's so time consuming and the thing I found with Planko was that if I didn't have any kind of creative inspiration going on then it was really easy to to tell that in the stream and it was a bit demotivating sometimes thinking oh I've got to sit there and be creative even though I'm not feeling creative <laughs> I was gonna fire it up until I saw you on I can wait <laughs> plan for all day every day well if you want to fire it up when we're getting close we can go over and and we can all jump over there for a few minutes. But yes, then it'll be bedtime for me. Because it's been a long day. It's been a long few days, to be honest. I was, uh, where was I yesterday? I was, what day was it yesterday? Sunday. So I was working yesterday. Today, even. But it's still today because I haven't been to bed yet. But yes, I was working yesterday, and I was working the day before, and I had a friend over for dinner tonight, so I was cooking, I cooked bolognese this evening, which was wonderful. Or, well, I'd say it was more Italian mint. I don't really cook to a bolognese recipe as such. So just throw in a load of green herbs, plenty of basil and garlic, some chopped tomatoes, and on the way, we're on the way. We yeah, have Planko all day, every day. And are you still building? You're still building that part, but is that the part that you you stream, or are you, do you do all the other bits and bobs too? Do you just kind of have random days where it's? I'm gonna stream this thing. I want to build this. Because one thing I'm actually wanting to do, one thing I really wanted to do, was actually do a bit of Planko streaming. Because I'm fundraising for, for my land. My land, for my business. Um, proper Yorkshire, like. Um, I wanted to build a recreation of what kind of, and use it as concept art. For kind of getting people to understand, not getting people to understand, but giving a better representation of what I can describe it of as. 2016 I told myself one park and I'm done so same park good times and I guess as long as you never finish it you can always play Planet Coaster yeah I've never really I've never really got stuck back into a park since I built my alpha park which is unlike me I just I just think I spent so long on it that when the game actually released wasn't that interested and then I got so behind with it all and there was so much content that came out and I was 
I was buying some of the DLCs. I think I have most of them, to be fair. But now when I boot up the game, it's overwhelming the amount of stuff there is. And for me, that's not good. I, I liked it when it was simple. Now it's... Although the complicated features are great, like... I'd love to program a dark ride. I'd love to program a firework display. And seeing what some of these people do on uh, these these um, YouTube videos and, and what the Planet Coaster community is capable of, I just think, why bother? This stuff is just, some of it's just mind-blowing. I think, oh, I never would have thought to do that. But I guess Lego's kind of the same too. Like there are things that people do that I think, what? How did you even think of that? But I just got out of touch with it. I think I quit for a year or so. There's so much to learn and relearn. Yeah, I love it again. I was, f it was free on console for a weekend. So there's all these new peeps. Ah, right. I see. I see. I see. I see. So there was a bit of an influx of, of Planet Coaster people. It is good that there's still lots of content being generated by the Planet Coaster community after all this time. I am I am sad that whilst all that was going on, I was building my business. Because I would have liked to have taken part. But I just... Yeah, I just didn't have the motivation for it. I think it's the fact that the simulation aspect of the game didn't didn't really tick the box like it was too easy the, the management style or the it just didn't feel balanced something something just wasn't quite right with it and i think that's what oh, we, we built this bit too it's cool and now it's going on the front of the boat it just didn't feel yeah there's just something about it Something about it. It was almost too creative, too free. And I'd just get lost, like, putting putting rocks down rocks rocks and rocks and bushes and rocks and then my game would get so laggy and then it wouldn't be enjoyable anymore and yeah poor planko is it is it any better optimized because i know that was a major complaint from a lot of the community was it just was badly optimized but if they managed to sort any of that out in updates or is it still laggy as hell once you've placed a hundred pieces? <laughs> and, a, and a smoke machine or a, what were the other things? That, like a fire jet thing. The, the particle effect things were always, or at least that's what I found on my machine, was that the particle effects were always something that really caused it to lag. I don't think so, but I haven't heard anyone complain about that lately. Oh, maybe it's not a thing anymore. Maybe I'm just a whiny old bitch. <laughs> Excuse my French. So it looks like we're building some kind of uh, holding area for the anchors to live at the moment. And make sure you always drop your anchor in the right bay because you don't want to end up getting yourself into trouble.
Oh, I always have to make yawn. That was a big yawn. So yeah, we're gonna do this, and now we're gonna build like the central bit to house. We'll call it anchor housing. Let's sit that down there a second. Oh, I am really hoping I'm going to be able to strip strip this video off Twitch for YouTube. Oh, otherwise, it's going to be a problem. And this is the point where I realise I've only one chain. No. But two anchors required. It's okay. It's okay. One anchor. Anchor. One an One anchor. little frustrating, never mind. Okay. Well, at least I can't see. No, there's definitely not another chain. I've got plenty in my inventory. Slide this in under the ridge and then clip it on. This goes here. And then, oh, okay. Oh. It's like a groovy little anchor mechanism. It's very nice. Uh, and then we need a little spindle on the top to make the mechanism not that way though, this way, <laughs> to make the mechanism for the boat. And then we can turn it up. And hey, look, we have an anchor system where we can lower the anchor, raise the, oh, I broke it. We can raise the anchor and we can lower the anchor. Well, we can at least lower the anchor. Or raise the anchor. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, that goes on that way, that goes on that way, and now we're going to work along the side, expanding the side decks. Very nice. Oh, I haven't put those bits in. I've been slacking. I've been slacking. on and if there is anyone out there that does want to say hello in the chat do say hello guy and i are very friendly people we're here to say hello hello and if not i'm just gonna keep singing i won't keep singing i might keep singing It'll turn into a musical fiasco. Lego building the musical. You don't want that to happen. Lego building musical fiasco. I forgot, I just remember we had the You Bear song. We had the You Bear song all that time ago. It seems like a, a lifetime. Okay. Oh, I just broke it off. That shouldn't. Oh no, where's that gone? Where? Oh, I broke them both off. It's all falling apart. almost leg stretching time. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to spread out a little bit. I'm gonna have to get comfy. 
because it is old man syndrome is stepping in. Okay, we'll move these down here. And we're going across this way. We're gonna have a little stretch out. Oh, that's good. Oh, that feels good. And all I'm doing is stretching. Right, this is the new building position for a few minutes. Oh. One, two, three, four. I'm not sure what we're building right now, but it looks like some side panels for the ship. Um, yeah, try not to expose my midriff. One, two, three. Lucky seven, but I need eight. Eight. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Grand. Uh, lots of pins, four of them. Not that many. I was overreacting. Frictionless pins. Ooh. So that suggests to me that they're going to have to rotate or do something along those lines. Four, five, six. Shovern. It was upside down. It was upside down. The world turned upside down. The world turned upside down. <sighs> Have you seen the Hamilton musical, Guy? And if so, what did you think to it? Oh no, that's not the right one. Oh no, donuts and toffee sauce. Yes, I enjoyed it, but too much hype and not historically accurate. Yes, agreed. They have been very creative with some of the events. But yeah, it's got some catchy tunes. It's got some catchy tunes. And I like to play them on my piano. Some of them, but yeah. I, uh, I've only watched it on the TV, I haven't seen it in, in real life. I refuse to pay for the price of the theatre at the moment, it's just... I think I looked and it was like, it's like £150 per ticket. And there's three of us, so it's like £450. If the world wasn't upside down, I could go to Europe for that. 
and it's two hours of entertainment. It's just so expensive to go and see a musical right now. Which kind of sucks, because, you know, musical theatre should be accessible for all. It's important. Except from that, I've not really uh, watched a lot of anything else. Oh, these tilt, 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 tilt. And then I need one of these ones. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, it looks like one of our mysterious lurkers disappeared. Bye, bye, friend. to keep checking that I've not not got it wrong because this time of night where I start making silly mistakes if my other half was at home tonight I'd be in trouble I'd be in big trouble what are you doing building Lego till that time of night you need to go to bed rest your brain Lost build Lego. Um, gotta do another one. Where's the one? Oh, I'm falling. starting to go brick blind which is a real condition it's definitely not something I made up okay we did that bit now we're doing some more Time for some black curves now. It's getting curvy, curvy. Oh, and I still need to, I've had a video on YouTube that started to go a little viral. 
I mean, not like proper viral, but it's had three and a half thousand hits nearly. We had one on TikTok that ha that hit. I think it's three hundred and twenty-five thousand people. It's like what? But I haven't found TikTok useful in any way. It's just so hit and miss. What you do with it, it just makes no sense to me. So what I'm gonna, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the videos that I made for TikTok for my business account off it and then re-upload them into YouTube, into the shorts. It seems to be that YouTube shorts are quite popular. I picked up quite a few subscribers through that. But yeah, all this marketing stuff is it's bloody hard work. It's hard work. But it's so random, some of it. I just don't understand it. I think I'm too old for it. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of views. But it just didn't translate to anything. It picked me up like... I don't know, maybe a thousand... Or two thousand TikTok subscribers. But then I never, it never really... Translated to anything. And it's such... It's such, um, we seem to be in such a throwaway culture for video content that just never had a video. I tried to replicate it and never happened again. And I thought, oh, it'll be easier now. It'll be easier now. I've got a, a good base, 2,000 videos that it's going to show to. No. No, it just. never even got close to it again yeah it's a funny old funny old thing that TikTok stuff oh no that's the end of our bag that's that's that so this 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 is where we're leaving it today, I think. This is where it's being left. Because, yeah, it's ten past two in the morning, which is probably much later than I should be staying up. <laughs> but it was, it's been an epic stream. Thank you everybody that's, that's watched, that's joined us. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, go over to Brickbox TV and hit that subscribe button. Yeah, looks like a ship at last. Yes, we'll do a little bit of close up in this. So yeah, we've got anchors, we've got the front there, we've got the back bits, little rudder. It's all looking good. And now I'm going to spend the last few minutes before my bedtime working out how to rip this video from Twitch onto my phone and up onto YouTube. So good luck. I'm going to need some good luck for that. But yeah, I hope you have a nice time in London at the weekend, Guy, if I don't speak to you beforehand. I don't know if we'll stream like this again. Maybe, maybe not. I might try earlier in the day and see what we can find. Um, but yeah, keep smiling. Keep thinking outside the brick box. And of course, stay free. I'll see you all soon. Bye. <laughs>